But last night was so crazy. People were screaming and playing guard cards until like 3.30 a.m. And the lady, the old lady who was sleeping here, she was blowing her nose. I think she has to like blow her nose with her lights on. But so every time she blows her nose, she turns on the lights and the light is so bright. So it's like bright up the entire room and she blows her nose but super loud like i thought there was thundering i thought the weather was super bad i was like <laughs> and i'm just like what is happening like people are screaming outside and there are ladies who's blowing nose every every 30 minutes and yeah it was it was kind of crazy What a stunning view. It looks like Amsterdam. The buildings are definitely colorful and they're like small and they're all like next to each other. Right next to the river. It's definitely a summer weather right now. I take things back from what I said yesterday. That the city's dirty and all the buildings are beige color and the weather was horrible it was raining yesterday so it looked dimmer and then i come here the sun is shining and it is so beautiful so i arrived at my first destination torre de oro i mean it's it's awesome it's great but honestly the views of these buildings like these houses enchant me more than the Torre de Oro. So the reason probably why it is famous is probably not because it's just pretty for some historical reason it's probably famous and when I did some research here it is called the Golden Tower Torre of Oro because it refers to Andalusian's prosperous time during Latin American colonies and also when the ships enter through the river they discharge their cargo, their gold here. And another interesting part is the middle of the tower is actually prison. So I arrived at Sevilla Cathedral and this cathedral, just by the surface level, it is the largest Gothic cathedral in the world and it is one of the UNESCO sites. But what is more interesting for me is that this cathedral used to be a mosque. So I, it, it's so interesting how a building that used to be for Islam is now for Christianity. And you can see that because the surface of cathedral is usually the latin cross shape but this cathedral is a square shape because it was built on an existing structure which used to be a mosque and arab minaret became the bell tower which is now called la Giralda. la Giralda at the time was the tallest building at the time and yeah just it's so interesting if i didn't know i would just be like oh it's another beautiful cathedral in europe but no, this used to be a mosque. I feel so dumb. <laughs> So I was looking for a real Alcázar, which is a palace, a royal Alcázar, which used to be a Muslim palace. And 
in the investigation it says it is located on a strategic place to you know protect the authorities the Muslim authorities and I was like looking for it and it says I have to go like five minutes and basically what I did was this is the Sevilla Cathedral and Real Alcazar was right here I love how children, doesn't matter if there's a gothic cathedral or the first whatever palace, what they really like is the teddy bear. What? Look at this tree. That ice cream shop is everywhere in Spain. In Madrid, there are several. There's one for female and there's one for guys. And obviously, they will have one here. It's located, it's mostly located in the most touristy areas because, you know, people are willing to pay like double the price. I don't know exactly how much it is. I've never had it. I refuse to buy touristy things, but also it's not just touristy. Like Spanish people will buy it too, but people are willing to pay you know, extra for the laugh. So I'm currently sitting in front of Las Setas of Sevilla or the wild mushroom of Sevilla in, under a hot glaring sun. Um, it is all wooden to architect. So this is the biggest wooden architect in the world, but I feel like by this time like whenever I visit a certain certain spot it is like the biggest or the smallest or the oldest or the newest some kind of thing so it doesn't really interest me that much but what is interesting is the history so it was built by the German architect um, this place used to be a medieval convent um, and after it was demolished they wanted to put something modern here but it used, it's still a controversy because it is located in such a historical place in the old town of Sevilla that it looks a little bit out of place so we have like a lot of old architects with the cathedral and we have this another controversy is it costed Sevilla a lot of bucks so it costed the double the amount of what it was projected to cost and some say it costed 50 million euros some say 100 million euros so it costed a lot so to go up there you can actually go up by paying five euros per adult or if you're a child under six just doing tourism by yourself it will be free for you So this is the entrance of the Casa de Pilatos and as you can see it is definitely less touristy here. There are me and these two guys and then there are other two, three people. But it is the largest private palace in Sevilla and it is considered as the perfect prototype of Andalusian palace. This is what happens when you do a walking tour in the beginning. You're like super excited. Oh, like what a great history, just beautiful architect. And then the day follows and then you're like, that's the state I'm in right now. But I do have to see the most, the most famous Plaza de España. You know, in the internet, it says that you have to see it. And I'm still not in the level of tourist expert that when you do a lot of tourism and then internet says you have to see it and you have done some tours and you're like, ha, right. But I'm not in that expert level. So when someone says you have to see it, I'm like, okay, I have to see it. So <laughs> I drag my tired ass outside again to walk 
30 minutes to see the Plaza de España. <laughs> Arrived. That was a nice walk. It's weird, you know how sometimes you see a scenery and you take a photo and it doesn't capture it? Weirdly, sometimes when you're taking like a video and you see the scenery through the video, it looks much more photogenic and picturesque than the actual architect. And that's kind of how I feel. I was looking through the GoPro and it looks unbelievable. But in my eyes, it looks different. Like it's still magnificent, but in through the video it looks unbelievable. You know?